So in this chapter, we're going to have a look at how to bake objects. So if we look at the uh, polygon detail on this object, it's very dense. And if we were to animate this, uh, we wouldn't be able to um, get kind of fast updates because the mesh is just too dense. So you might want to create a displacement map from this and apply it to a kind of lower polygon geometry, maybe something like level two. And you might want to just work from here and then using the displacement map from uh, level 7. So I'm just going to go back to level 6. And the first thing we need to do is create a UV map for this model. Uh, you don't actually have to, but it's just better if you do. So I'm just going to go here and go to BP UV Edit like this. And I'm going to choose this tool here to select all the polygons. It goes back to the base mesh anyway. And I'm going to go to Optimal Mapping, Angle, and I'm going to choose Stretch to Fit, and hit Apply. So that's a quick and dirty way of creating a quick UV map. Um, everything's kind of spread out, but uh, as long as none of the polygons are overlapping, uh, we can use that. So I'm just going to go back to Standard. Um, I basically need to go back to Model. So just click here and choose Model, otherwise uh, you can't get back. So that's us back to the model. Um, there it is. So now we're ready to basically bake um, bake this object. So I'm just going to click Puppet, go to Sculpt and Bake Sculpt Objects here. That opens up the dialog. So we've got a few options here. Uh, first, I'm going to choose a file name, obviously. So I'm just going to call this um, bake map. Save. Uh, I'm going to choose uh, PSD Photoshop and preset. Uh, I'm going to go for something quite small, 2048 by 2048. I'm going to leave the pixel border as is. I'm going to check single file because I just want a displacement map. I'm going to go to options, check displacement. And uh, basically, if you're very lazy and you don't want to set up UV maps, you can come here and choose a cubic or angle. Uh, this should create a kind of quick and dirty UV map for you here. But uh, we've already got our UV map, so I'm just going to use off. And then here, we're basically going to go from uh, the source object to the target object. So the source is basically our highest level, this level 6. And then... Um, the base object sometimes is too low in detail, so you might want to go from level 6 to level 2. But in this instance, just for the purpose of demonstration, I'm going to go to my lowest level, basically the base mesh. And then under settings, we've got the displacement method. So if you're going to animate this, um, the tangent option is pretty good, but um, I'm just going to kind of use it as a kind of static model, so I'm just going to leave it on XYZ object. And if you want, you can actually do a little mini preview render here by clicking preview. And you can see what the displacement map's going to look like. But um, I'm happy with those settings. I'm just going to go back and I'm going to hit bake. So create result copy was checked. So that basically creates a separate copy. I'm just going to minimize that. And so that's our sculpting uh, layer. I'm just going to turn these off. And that's a new baked object. So I'm just going to render this. I'm just going to click on, I'm just going to turn off displacement and render this to the picture viewer. And I'm going to make this A. And now I'm going to go back to my map, which has been created for me. And uh, the displacement map's been inserted in there automatically after the baking operation. I'm going to choose round geometry, see what that does. And I'm going to render this. <laughs> so that's looking quite strange. Uh, I'm just going to turn off round geometry and render again. There we go. So that's quite impressive considering uh, the base mesh is this. And using a displacement map, we've managed to end up with this. 
So imagine if you bake to level one or two, you would get some pretty impressive detail. And um, I'm going to make this B, and now we can basically do a A B comparison. So that shows you the power of uh, baking the displacement. So you could animate on this level, get some nice kind of quick updates, and then when you're ready, turn on displacement and output a nice kind of high res animation. One last thing I'm going to show you is um, basically when you're sculpting like this, uh, say you want to create a level 2 geometry, you can go to tools and go to create polygon copy and that creates a kind of level 2 model which is very useful or we can go to um, create polygon copy for every level. That's pretty cool. It even puts them in a line for you, as you can see here. So you can see the progress, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm just going to turn these off. We can see the progress of our uh, work. Turn on Gorad shading. And you can see how this... Uh, evolved from a lowly polygon base mesh to this final result here. So that's the last chapter of uh, the sculpting series. I hope you learnt the basics and you're ready to kind of create your own models, sculpt your own models. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.